There's the old comedic rivet brad, whatever you want to call it, interfering with the uh, deck surface problem. Sometimes they're, they're even further over into there. But we'll do the fix, which is start by grinding the top of it off. I can't seem to find the grinder I wanted to use, but I guess this one will do it. Then you take some aviation safety wire. This is the smallest 021. Might be a little difficult working sideways in here. But surely we can figure it out, right? And then that won't interfere anymore. I think you're supposed to cut this off and make it look decent. And then technically you're supposed to twist that up a little bit where somehow it doesn't bite the next person that walks by it. I don't think I did a very good job of that. I think I should have left more. So, now we're clear of the deck and the world's a better place to live. These KB head studs are so much sexier than the others. Got a lot more threads and you've got this on the end of it so when you tighten it down into the block it doesn't shift over to one side like the like a regular stud does because it's got this bullet on the end of it. Mo better. Okay, we're ARP lubed and torqued to ARP specs and now let's see how much distortion we got. Wow. What is that? 2.7 or so? 2.8, 2.7. So I got about what four tenths or something like that. And like always, didn't change anything on the bottom. But in the top, looks like four, almost five, really. Five tenths. So it's worth torque plate honing, it looks like. Because of these sleeves being ductile iron and harder, and you know I had to make more strokes and apply more pressure to do the, put the plateau finish on it, you would think maybe that it would have possibly opened up the cylinder a little bit. But I checked it and didn't do anything to it. Which, I mean, you know, all you're doing is knocking off the peaks. I don't know how much that is, 20, 30 millionths or whatever. So I guess you just can't read 20 or 30 millionths on there. So I wanted to, we're down to a little over two thousandths left to go. And normally at this time, I, when I'm trying to do a block perfect, I might want to change the stones to, you know, hold everything straight, make sure everything's going to do right. But it's been working so well, it stayed within a tenth 
top to bottom on every cylinder while I was honing it out. You know, it had about nine in it at first. And so I just kept honing it. I never dwelled. I never did anything. It just... Very predictable. Very... Those sleeves, you know, I like them. But I think I'm just going to run the stones I've got and I think everything's going great. We've all had problems getting the oil pump on sometimes. You know, either you didn't oil the hole or you didn't oil the O-ring or the O-rings are new and big and maybe the groove was a little narrow or shallow or something or all three at once. But you've never had this problem. I was mocking up some oil system parts. And guess what? It doesn't go in the hole. We're not, we don't even have an O-ring on this pump. It won't go in the hole. So, what does that mean? Well, obviously it's not drilled right. I mean, I don't have a set of prints, and I want some, by the way, but after miking it several times, or should I say ten times, uh, okay, so we're at 874. I took that end mill, this is a 7 8 end mill, you can use a pin gauge but this was handy, and I went from block to block in here, there's 9 or 10 Mopar blocks and this is a nice tight fit in every one of them, which tells me that the spec is 875. This hole is 874, but then you go down a little more, and it's 873, and then you go down a little more, and it's 872. Wow, there's, there's 870. Wow, it's, it's, it's terrible. So, I know some people... I mean, luckily, it's on the same size as a drill bit, so some people would just take a drill bit and jam it down in there and waller it out and make it work, but, you know, I can't do that. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, so, so don't ask me. By the way, I thought I'd try a Keith Black plump on a KB block, you know. These are reduced a little bit on the shank size, and it won't go all the way either. It's... It needs fixed, you know. What else can I say? We talked earlier about the dowel pins, and we don't know why they put these 250 dowel pins in here when a Mopar doesn't take 250s, it takes 246s. This particular block, I knew I was going to have to make new dowel pins so I've got some quarter inch tool steel here and I was just going to make dowel pins that are 250 going into the block and 246 coming out and I was going to convert it into a Mopar you know but this particular block came in with the dowel pins and the core plugs installed well I didn't think that was a big deal I don't I never found a keep black gear drive to use. I still think I'm going to, but a Keith Black Gear Drive, of course, will I have this uh tall deck uh a race cam on me, uh gear drive KB. But of course it won't fit because these aren't 246 dials. And, you know, dowels are pretty tight in their uh, tolerance about, I mean, they're, 
these dowels are locating dowels. They're trying to locate you in the right place. It's not uh, something else. And so, so no, a KB gear drive won't fit on a this block, just like the Keith Black oil pump doesn't fit. But uh, I'm so all I have to use is a Donovan gear drive. And luckily for me, Donovan doesn't know that Mopars take uh, 246 dowels, so everything's going to work fine. So I'm just going to leave it that way. And then if I ever get a Keith Black gear drive, I can just pull these out with a puller and stick in some that I made. And, and then it'll all be good. Now we'll have to check the heads and see if the heads will go on these monstrous dial pins. They they normally will, but you know how that goes. Take a good look at those dial pins. Look at how big they are. You you're you're five feet away and you can see that those dial pins are bigger than any Mopar you've ever looked at. You can see that four thousands with your own eyes just because you're used to looking at the front of a Mopar block and you know that that doesn't look right. Uh. Okay, now let's see if the heads will go on here. They normally will, but it seems like I have to check everything nowadays. These are stage five replacement heads. Wow. They won't go. Ooh. I really wasn't expecting that. I mean, heads, I know it's possible, but Maybe the other side. No. No, they won't go anywhere. Okay, now let's try a different brand of heads. This is a KB head. Well, well, well. So far what we've learned today is a Keith Black heads oil pump and gear drive doesn't fit a these new blocks so yeah yeah I agree it looks like you need to check everything I don't know what else to tell you I guess I'm gonna have to try to put a distributor in here and see if that'll fit you have to check everything We've already discussed it, but I just didn't really allow it. It's, it, it's like you're building a Rolls Royce by hand, and you're going to have to hand fit each part. But this... Uh, 